Sorry I'm late. No, no, that's quite all right, dear. Your father and I were just discussing his day at work today. Why don't you tell our daughter about it, honey? Janie, today I quit my job. Then I told my boss to go fuck himself. And then I blackmailed him for almost $60,000. <laughs> Past experience. Your father seems to think that this kind of behavior is something to be proud of. And your mother seems to prefer that I go through life like a prisoner while she keeps my dick in a fucking mason jar <gasps> under the sink. How dare you talk to me like that in front of her! And I marvel at the fact that you can be so contemptuous on the same day that you lost your job. Lose it? I didn't lose it. It's not like, whoops, where'd my job go? I quit. Will somebody please oh, pass me oh, the spare? Oh, and I want to thank you for, for putting me under the added pressure of being the sole breadwinner now. Well, I already have a job. Oh, don't give a second thought as to who's going to pay the mortgage. Well, just leave it all up to Carolyn. Oh, you don't mind paying the mortgage, do you? Oh, no, I don't mind at all. I can take care of everything. Oh, really? You can take care of everything? You don't mind having the sole responsibility while your husband feels like he can just quit his job somebody and Somebody pass me like the fucking like he's been doing for the past few months. Sit down! I'm sick and tired of being treated like I don't exist. You two do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it, and I don't complain. All I want is the oh, same Oh, you courtesy. don't complain. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I must be psychotic then if you don't complain. What is this? I must be locked up in a padded cell somewhere, hallucinating. Don't interrupt me, honey. Oh, and another thing, from now on, we're going to alternate our dinner music because, and I don't think I'm alone here, I'm really tired of this Lawrence Welk shit. <laughs>